Hello, and welcome to Odoo Live. My name is Noel, Community Manager here at Odoo San Francisco, and thank you once again for joining us. Today, I'm joined by Anthony, uh, one of our Partnerships and Alliances Executives, to talk about uh, promotions and coupons in Odoo. Thank you for joining us again, Anthony. Thank you, Noel. Thank you for having me. As always, if you have any questions regarding today's topic, please leave them in the chat, and we will answer them at the end during our Q&A session. Uh, additionally, if you would like to get with us regarding other topics or uh, anything else in general, you can always send us an email to webinars at odoo.com or to get in touch with Anthony directly. Anthony, what is your email address? Yeah, it's uh, ace at odoo.com or ace at odoo.com. <laughs> yes, very e easy to remember. Well, <laughs> so I guess with all that being said, go ahead and take it away, Anthony. All right, perfect. Yeah, so let's get started. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a straightforward uh, webinar today, uh, coupons and promotions. Um, so first of all, it's important to have, uh, you know, have your website ready, ready to go. And also, um, um, you know, if you can also have, you know, sales. So basically the modules you have to have installed are, you know, obviously website, um, sales. Um, and in sales, it's important to have that because you can kind of centralize, um, you know, your coupons, promotions. Um, but you can also do the same function in website. So um, let's take a, take a look at the website app. Um, so here you see the dashboard. Um, you'll see, you know, your sales orders, stuff like that. Um, but once, if you want to go straight into the configuration, we'll do that. And it's important to go to settings. And then we'll activate... Uh, coupons and promotions. So once you have that activated, um, you're ready to go to set up your promotion and your coupons. So once you have that activated, you just click save. Just wait a sec. And now you're good to go. So now if we go to um, products, now this will be you know visible. So promotion programs, coupon programs. So let's go to um, promotion programs and here here's a summer promotion um, I created so let's take a look at that um, and basically you know this shows you know the type of uh, promotion I created so um, you know I enabled, enabled it for all my products um, so what I'm selling is scooters and I'll be showing that later in the website um, and also the discount uh, code that I made is summer 19 um, so basically the idea is to, you know, paste this code when you're about to check out and then it'll automatically, um, you know, decrease, um, you know, a certain percentage. So my percentage was, you know, a 30% discount. Um, so I'll show you guys that later. So this is active. Um, so let's do one from scratch just so you guys get to see that. So let's create it. Promotion program. Um, let's just say it's a scooter. Um, promo um, and I enabled it to um, to all my products so three records three products um, you can also add you know um, filters if you only want to you know have it filtered to certain you know customers that you want to send the, the, the promo to um, and here's where you play it to, um, uh, to your first order you can also play a start date so my start date will be uh, since today and ends um, until the end. I'll just put the end of summer around. Actually, so I'll just put since you know May during May and then ends the end of uh, end of June. So just a quick um, initial summer spring slash summer promo, um, and then here it's going to ask you, you know, if you want it automatically applied. Or if you want to use a code, um, so yeah. So depending on you, you know your strategy. If you want to have it, you know, if you want to have your customers automatically apply it, you can have it just, um, you know, just have it that clicked. If not, uh, I'll just use this code. And here you can just put, you know, scooter. I'll just put scooter, all in caps, uh, nineteen. Have that. Apply it on current order. It's going to be a discount and yeah i mean if you even want to you know reward customers with a free product if that's part of your promo you can also do that 
If not, you just leave it on discount. Um, I'll just leave max discount of 45. Um, and here you can put it on orders on cheap cheapest products, specific products. So basically, you know, it gives you a lot of detail, on, you know, on how really you want to, you know, structure this this promo. You know, you can make it really simple, or you can do it more, you know, a bit more complex if you just want to do it on cheaper products. Um, you can even put a max discount um, if that's um, you know your goal as well. Uh, but I'll just leave it at that for now. Um, so then we just you know save it, and then it becomes active. You know now it's active on the website, um, and also you know if you want to make it you know visible for, to your customers, you know you can have it visible on your website, um, or if you want to email the code to your customers, especially if you have um, if you have maybe a you know, certain program that you want to reward customers with, the rewards program. You can do that as well. Um, so let me just show you another way you can do this. Let's go back to promotion programs. And we can also look at coupon programs. Um, so there's another coupon you know, I created. And basically, you know, uh, the idea with this is to, you know, create a coupon, you generate them. Uh, but the whole goal is to, you know, basically email them these coupons uh, to your customers. So let's create one. Let's create. Um, let's just say it's um, um, electric. Let's just say it's uh, maybe just want to do a, a coupon on a certain product. So let's just say so we have different colored scooters. So maybe you just want to make it for the blue scooters, blue scooter program or pro, uh, coupon. Put a name. Select, maybe you just want to make it uh, and yeah, and basically, you know, if you want to, you know, select it on a certain or even if you want to make it on all the scooters just to make it easier, we'll do that for now. If not, we can, you know, filter them and, and you know, choose the certain, you know, product that you want to have it for, uh, for the coupon. But for this case, I'll just do it for all the scooters. Um, you can also put, you know, minimum purchase of, you know, discount. And it's really, you know, a similar structure to the, to the way we created um, oh, um, the promotion. So the, the, the promo code that we created. So it's basically a similar structure. Uh, but now, you know, we're generating coupons. So uh, validation created. I'll just put it to 30 days. Save it. And... And I just left, you know, left the default, so just a 10% discount. Um, so yeah, once you do that, you can generate your coupons. Generate the coupons. I'll just say I'll generate 10 of them. Now it's 10 coupons. And all these coupons, you know, they're basically valid. So these are the codes. And basically, you know, the customers will have to, you know, use these codes to paste uh, when they check out and then it'll automatically discount um, uh, whatever they're buying as well. So let's go to uh, our website and I'll show you um, how this can work. Um, and I'm going to focus uh, more on the promotion programs because I think that uh, it's more more common, something you can uh, really, you know, make visible to your, your clients as well. So I'm going to use the promotion program for the sake of this this webinar. So let's go to the our website. Oh, pause for the website. So this is the the website created. Um, so what I'm selling is electric scooters, and I made my promo code readily available for my clients to see. So summer nineteen, um, they can just you know copy it. Copy it summer 19. Then they'll have to go to, you know, shop our products. And they can choose between, you know, three electric scooters. So let's just say I like I like the red one. So just click it. Um, 
And even if you, you, there's many ways to, you know, structure a website. So, I mean, if you want to make it, have the promo code, you know, readily available on every page, you can also do that. But I just made it, you know, visible um, on the main uh, page. So let's just select this. Add to cart. Um, and here, it's going to, it's very important to, it's going to ask you, you know, do I have a for promo code? Yes, I do. Let's click on that paste the promo code apply it and boom here we go 30% off uh, on the code so so yeah that's basically the idea of you know pasting these codes um, I think the easiest way is just you know if you want to make it very visible uh, leaves less of a hassle to your customers or you can also email them um, or you can also email them uh, coupons um, so once they do that, you know, it's just a normal checkout process, process checkout. Uh, and, and yeah, basically, you know, the customer will fill out this next and then um, it'll be, you know, just confirm the order as well. And, and yeah, just like, you know, normally do through, through a different, you know, a normal process, just fill out the information, confirm order, and then um, you'll confirm the sale. And that's basically, you know, a simple process to make coupons uh, pro, uh, or promotional programs. Um, I strongly recommend to use promo codes. I think it's a great way to, you know, entice customers to your website or to even, you know, just rack up the sales. So definitely, I, I do recommend that. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, if you guys have any more questions, uh, that's basically a general idea of uh, and a simple way to create uh, promo codes uh, for your website. But um, but thank you. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, yeah, it looks like right off the bat, we do have a few questions. Uh, these are coming from James Reed. Let's see if you can uh, hopefully answer these. Um, so let's see. His uh, first question is, uh, can you make coupons or promotional codes uh, non-case sensitive? Non-case sensitive. Yeah, so I mean, you know, like oh, for that one that's, you know, summer 19, if it's, uh, if somebody, I guess, types it in lowercase, will it still work or, you know, vice versa? Yes, it, it should work. Um, and I just made it uppercase uh, because uh, the way I structured my website, it was all in caps. Um, but you can definitely do it. It's just a matter of... Um, uh, just creating the code if we go back um, for example let, let, let's do that let's change it let's change it right now shouldn't take too long um, uh, let's go to my promo program summer promo um, let's just take away the caps so yeah I mean that's it uh, uh, you know good question because I mean I did in caps because the way I I uh, structured the website, you know, it was all in caps, so I was like, oh, it'll just be easier to do that. But if you want to just, you know, make the promo in lower, lower case, just save it. And now this is, you know, I edited the promo code, and so now I'll go back. Um, let's go back to my website. Um, and my cart. So let's delete that since this won't be valid. Put the promo promo code summer nineteen and yeah it worked so yeah so basically the idea is that you know it doesn't matter it doesn't I mean it can be all numbers um, you can put you know uh, you know dollar signs it can be anything it doesn't have to be caps but so yeah to answer your question it doesn't have to be in caps excellent. Uh, one a follow up question on from James' behalf. So, can you run a report on the promo codes to see how many times it was used in a month? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so definitely um, for the sake of uh, this uh, these, this webinar that I created, I didn't run you know a lot of sales, but definitely there sh there would be uh, you know stats if we go to if we go back to our website. Let's go to website. Um, so here we'll measure, you know, sales and there should be, so we measure it, um, uh, by discounts. So here, um, we should be able to measure, um, and we can even create, um, 
let's just let's just say. So yeah, we can also create it through. Um, so discounts, it should be able to make it through through if we put discount numbers, um, and once you, uh, you know, enable this, it should should be able to work. You know, it should be able to filter your your sales, and just see you know, uh, you know how much you know revenue you're gaining from from these promo codes. Um, so yeah, I would recommend you know try, you know, just you know build your own test database, um, you know. Make your website, make some products, run some sales, and then you know try you know try to measure it through these filters, through the discounts. Um, um, in case that doesn't work, you know just shoot me an email and we'll see what we can do. But I do recommend to try that out, because um, and it, and also if you have the sales the sales uh, module installed. You'll also have access to other reports, so on your sales, and basically it'll give you the same, you know, report that we saw on the website. So I do recommend, you know, to, um, you know, just play around, um, and but I'm, I guarantee you that it will, it should work. It's just a matter of you know, running some sales, you know, get some actual data on here. Once you do that, you know, filter it through a discount, and uh, it should work. But, but feel free to email me in case it doesn't. Excellent. Uh, I guess, well, uh, to, to satisfy uh, James Reed's curiosity, now that you've changed the promo code for it yeah. to be lowercase, yeah. if you were to type it in uppercase, would it still work? Let's, let's double check that. Um, so yeah, and one thing, so one thing you probably could do is have maybe two promos running, so maybe one in uppercase, one in lowercase. But let me just check because now I deactivated it, the lower, the uppercase one. So let me check if it still worked. Um, okay, let's delete that. Let's just check. Um, so we're back to uppercase. Summer nineteen. So no, so yeah, it, so yeah, it will be case sensitive. I mean, depending on what's on what pro, promo code is running. Um, so since I deactivated the one in capital letters, it's not working. So it will be case sensitive. So, so but yeah, I mean, but if you want to have you know multiple promos activated, one in uppercase, one in lowercase, or another one which is in maybe dollar signs or question marks, whatever it is. It's just a matter of having those promo codes all activated, um, but they are case sensitive. Um, just to answer your question. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I hope that answers. Yeah, uh, James Reed's question. Um, yeah. I'd like to thank you again, Anthony, for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, if you have any additional questions, as I mentioned before, you can always uh, send us an email. We are at webinars at odoo.com. And if you'd like to get uh, more technical help, you can always get in touch with Anthony directly. And Anthony, what is your email address? Yeah, yeah it's uh, ACE at odoo.com. It's O-D-O-O dot com. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making these webinars for you all. And uh, I'd like to remind you that we are currently in the midst of our Odoo 12 tour. Uh, so we will be coming to a city or a state or a country near you. And you can find all of that information at odoo.com slash events. Uh, Anthony, is there anything else you'd like to add before we go? Um, but yeah, I mean, if, like Noel said, if you have any other questions, just email me. And, and really, the, you know, the best way to get this down, you know, just download a trial, create your database, and, and you know, just get your hands dirty. So, so de but definitely, you know, email me if you have anything else. But I think Noel pretty much covered everything. So, so thank you. All right. From all of us here uh, at Odoo San Francisco, thank you for watching. We'll see you all next time.